The show's over at North Park Mall's movie theater. They shut down at the start of the new year. They did, but the space may not be empty for long. WJTV 12's Shay O'Connor joins us now to explain what's happening from here. Shay? We received a tip to the newsroom about the closing of the United Artists Theaters. Apparently, it's a last night open was just this Thursday last night. Now, I spoke with some shoppers who say they will miss the beloved movie theater. It's just so convenient to, you know, people that stay around here. And, like, it's like a lot of memories because it's been here for so long and did its closing, they say it. Friday workers at United Artists Theaters were packing up and moving out of the building. They didn't want to talk to us, but mall shoppers did. Sierra Miller lives in Bridgeland. She says she has been to the theater her whole life, so the closure is shocking. Like, when my first movie coming to see up over here, I remember seeing Monster, Inc., uh, <laughs> a lot of old stuff. Yeah, we used to visit here in my old daycare. It's just sad. But the question is why? Just months ago, North Park had its grand reopening celebrations. This after the facility underwent multi-million dollar renovations. A statement from North Park reads, We purchased the movie theater a couple of months ago. United Artists Theaters have ceased operations as of 2019. This is an exciting time. It places North Park one step closer towards our goal of curating a destination for entertainment, dining, and retail for the community. So, what's next for the area? Sierra Miller says she hopes for a newer, more improved theater. I hope it's still a movie theater. You know, we don't need another extra building for no reason, like a clothing store. We need a movie theater right here. Everybody don't want to travel to Pearl or, you know, all that far away, yeah, just to see a movie. And we reached out to the city of Ridgeland. Mayor Jean McGee's office said they had no comment to make at this time. For now, in studio, Shay O'Connor, WJTV 12.